currently at my mom's house, snuggled in blankets because it's freezing here. This is day nine and me waking up at 5.30 every day. I think the hardest part of this challenge, I think I've said it before, is just waking up. Like, I just want to keep sleeping. I want to keep dreaming. I don't think I'll continue to wake up at 5.30 every day after this challenge is over. But I hope I can set in the habit of just waking up early when I'm supposed to. Because once this challenge is over, I think the next day I'm going to sleep in. But as usual, I'm going to do my quiet time this morning, and then I'm going to work out. I forgot my workout things, so I'm just going to do my PJs, I guess, with the little room I have on the other side of the room. And then I'm going to get ready and get started with organizing this room, but it's going to be hard because these blankets are so warm. This is the outfit of the day. Got these blue genie pants. And then this Calvin Klein shirt, that's like my mom's shirt from the 80s. And then for hair, I just put my hair in like two little ponytails. And of course, same earrings as yesterday. Don't mind the bed, it will all be clean in due time. Got lots to get done today before I go and hang out with my friends, so let's get started. Let's get started to tell of Jesus. Let's get started. We must begin. Tell the whole world about our savior to tell the whole world about our friend as i was doing the time lapse i went on my bed and then i found my foot and it really hurt Alrighty, i have finished the beds so i feel like now <laughs> what they look like if anybody ever comes to visit it's literally the perfect spot to fit a bunch of people to sleep up here because we've got the queen size bed that can fit two this bed that can fit one that bed that can fit two i've got my air mattress that can fit two so like two four six seven people could fit up here because the air mattress could go here i mean it'd be a really tight fit but we can make it work if there's a bunch of people here my next task for at least the next 30 minutes because I do want to get a chance to work on the videos is to kind of start going through this closet. So if you remember from my old videos, my room used to be burgundy. You can still kind of see little reminiscences of burgundy right there. But we repainted the pink and then the ceiling gray. And when we did that, I moved stuff that was all in the bookshelf and over there and over here all into here. So because I want to be moving out by the end of the year, I need to be able to go through all of this and see what I want to keep, what I want to give away. So for this, I'm just taking everything out of the closet, either putting my sewing things in one area, things I want to work on, either fixing the clothing, maybe stuff to give away, maybe my fabrics maybe things I can try to sell. I'm just compiling them into little piles, at least for the part of the closet that just has clothes all on one side since I took them all out of my sewing desk before. Tell me something now, how does making beds and moving a few clothes out of my closet take an hour and a half? I did not get as much done as I wanted to, but I really want to work on some of these videos so I can start uploading them next week. And if I stay ahead, I can just upload them every day and all I have to do is like post about it on my social media, but have a scheduled, they're uploaded to YouTube, they'll go on live at around noon or something like that. I did get some stuff done. I kind of organized clothes into piles of things I want to like give away, fabric, things I want to work on or try on. So it was right here and now it's right here. So I've made a little bit of progress and I got rid of some of the stuff that was around the closet. And I also cleaned this desk a little bit. Hopefully next time I can organize all the sewing things. And then there's some clothes I want to fix kind of up it a little bit. Like I have this white dress that is a little oversized on me. I'm thinking of making it into a top and a skirt. And I have this ugly green Dave and Buster's pillow. My, one of my friends got it for me like years ago. 
like her mom wanted a Dave and Buster's and then her mom gave it to her and then she didn't want it and then she gave it to me and then I've used it ever since because my futon has been very not comfortable so I use it underneath the bedding so that way it's more comfortable to sleep but because I've laid on it so much it's flattened out so what I'm thinking is taking all the stuffing out of it and then making a new pillow but smaller and putting all the stuffing into that new pillow and then getting rid of, of the the green because it's the neon green is too much okay so i just edited the first vlog of this series and i just uploaded it to youtube but it's not being posted today it's being posted on monday that's the 25th july 25th christmas in july if you will so then the daily vlogs will start coming so i've given i guess i'll have given myself about like 10 to 11 days buffer in case i get behind on editing things so I'm excited. I know it's probably not gonna get a lot of views, especially since I'm going to be daily vlogging and most of my videos don't get a lot of views if I'm posting once or twice a week, but it'll be fun for me to hold me accountable and just to do things that I enjoy doing, like talking to the camera and making videos because I love to talk, I will literally talk all day. So now I'm gonna edit the second video. It's 11 o'clock, I had scheduled for me to spend some time with my mom at this point, but I don't think she's awake, so I'm just gonna keep editing until she wakes up and then we'll hang out together. I took a break from editing videos because I'm running a few errands from my mom. I don't know if we'll get a chance to like watch our show together, but I guess we'll have some time to talk together because I have a few errands run. I'm meeting with a friend later, then I'm meeting with another friend later, and it's gonna be a great day today. This building, they've been building it for months now. It's a Culver's, finally, because I didn't know what it was. I was like, what is this building? And it's a Culver's. The closest one is like, 20 30 minutes away from our house so now they're building one right around the corner i could basically walk to it although i'm not like oh my gosh culver's is the best or whatever like how i am about zaxby's but i am like well now there's more food options this is a good thing today was the day i got weights for working out because this week i really want to implement adding weight so i got an eight pound kettlebell I kept calling it a barbell, but like the barbells are like the big long ones. And then I got two five pound handheld weights. Tomorrow when I meet up with my boyfriend, Dylan, he can show me some workouts I can do with these things. Hopefully that can help progress my exercise for it to be a little bit more difficult because right now it's kind of difficult but things are starting to get easier so i need to like increase difficulty this is the end of the day and it's been a long day i'm really tired but i'm still hanging out with friends so oh just be more tired but thanks so much for watching this video go ahead and follow me on all my social media at the ashley rosa except for snapchat which is at flower versus your full ones here and again i'm ashley rosa thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye Yeah.